Stormcrow asks, the family conflict is the beating heart of my trilogy. Will that be too close to home for some? I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. I would think, you know, in that's some That's a ridiculous ways, question. Getting there, close, no to home is the point. close to home is the point. Because, I mean, isn't that kind of the, the sometimes the point, though, is, uh, you know, you want people yeah. to feel it. I can exactly. think of a lot of stories where the uh, familial conflict is really core to the story. Like ah, the dirty otter. Yes. <laughs> How are you, Lord Otter? Oh, I'm doing all right, actually. I've got an upgraded mic, so hopefully my voice translates better across the net. Uh, but otherwise, I can't really complain myself. It sounds great. I took Royce's advice, and uh, so far, I think it's been paying off. Andrew Campbell says, story is conflict. Yep. Well, this is how I think of it, Crow. But once again, I am the worst person to be giving writing advice from, because ask these poor saps. Well, they're not really saps. They're actually really awesome. They have saved my ass writing this show. We're awesome thing. saps. <laughs> no, I'm the only sap here. But if you're not feeling it in the story, then you probably shouldn't be writing it. Yeah, because I'm sorry. I mean, what, what was what this? I, I was still not quite sure what he means by the too close to home. His question was, uh, "Family conflict is the beating heart of my trilogy. Will that be too close to home for some?" Are you saying and on this panel? I, I think he's asking story. how how an audience would receive it. That's what I think he's asking. He, he's writing a story. I know he's writing a story. And the best I can say with Storm Crow is because he asks a lot. You have to go out. You have to write it. Even if you look at your writing and you think, God, this is horrible. You have to at least put something on paper before then you're like okay what do you guys think what can be improved because then we can probably say well that nah, doesn't feel like have you considered this and that it's it's kind of hard when it's all in the brain if i'm saying that right and it, something has to be put to paper even if yeah. it's absolute horrible because it's going it to be trapped in your head yeah yeah it's it going to be molded over time on paper. okay for example um wrangler had me read his uh, beta his intro to his next book and i'm like reading it going Wait, is he talking planets? Is he talking gods? Is he talking myth? Like, I was totally confused there. But because it was physically there, him and I were able to talk through it and figure it out. I'm honestly wondering if he isn't asking if uh, the idea of a family conflict isn't too emotional for some. But honestly, for That's a lot of people point. actually going through that, having conflicts like that can actually serve as a sort of escape in some mm -hmm. ways. Yeah, it's almost like looking into an alternate reality where I'm having that kind of issue, but here it went a little bit different. Does yeah, I, that I make think sense? that's the reason why a, a lot of uh, darker stories resonate with people is like uh, whenever you're going through tougher times in your life, those stories can actually help you through them in a weird sort of way. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why not I have athletic tits. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm fixing that's, that. That's all one right. of the weird things that I, I have trouble relating Stop with blaming. others on is I don't like the darker stories. In fact, I figure if I want to see a dark story, I'll turn on the news. Maggie, I, want read something, I want something fun that's escapist. Not completely stupid, but not too heavy either. Something that's just going to maybe even energize me a little, you know, it's like, so when I know I don't like grim darks, I, I actually find them where by the time I finish getting through a, a grim dark, I actually feel disheartened and depressed. I can't do it. There's uh, kind of like two different extremes. There's like the worst of grim dark where it just leaves you feeling disheartened and depressed on one end. Then the, on the, on the opposite side, you have like the most generic Disney film you can think of. <laughs> how everything is happy, nothing ever goes wrong. For me, that's another mm -hmm. extreme, and I, for me, that's just as unrealistic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but even Disney, they have conflict, they have consequences, and they're older films. Right, and yeah. they're older films. I'm not really bashing their older films. Not most Remember of them. Remember villains? Remember villains? Who, who has the beeping smoke detector? 
<laughs> Who is manifesting the low IQ meme? It's it's Billy Bob. It's Maji. This has been going on for we've been fighting months. this with for weeks. <laughs> no, it's been months at this point. Uh, has it? Actually, it's smoke it's alarm wars. It gets brought up at least once a freaking episode at this point. How can it be going on for a year? <laughs> because we've been in this guild for almost a year. Re- replace the battery. It would maybe? die eventually. It would eventually just. <laughs> no! This thing has been happening. Now, Maji, how long has this been going on? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. We're still we're moment. still blaming you for it. Apparently. Yeah, blame the Maji. <laughs> Do we have to ship you a package of batteries? <laughs> I don't think you'd change them anyway. I even get returned to sender somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Craig, last week uh Chill Kid offered to ship him a pack of batteries to shut that thing up. Not a bad idea. <laughs> I was not impressed it's beeping for this long. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Maji, how long Myself, has it been I'm surprised. Uh, Brian McCoppin says, too close to home takes effect for traumatic things. If your story is about your uncle, you know, bad stuff, then, then that is a specific event that might trigger anyone who has an uncle named. Yeah, I, I've, I've known Wrong. people. An uncle named have... Epstein? But you, you you can get completely opposite reactions from two people who went through the same thing. One might actually read through it and it helps them cope, and another might read through it and it sets them off. It, yet those things do happen in stories; they become important parts of the plot. And you know, you, you can't bubble wrap everything. So well, it's an. End- it's uh, one reason why I think that not everyone likes Grimdark, and I, I completely understand it. I'm not always in the mood for it myself. I really just kind of take it in like certain spells here and there. It's not an all-time sort of thing. But then yeah. again, I know I know people who are different. Uh, yeah. And it's not like a prevailing like pessimism or anything like that. Sometimes I just like stories where there's a, a bit of a grittier undertone. It's not really a reflection of my overall view on life. It's just uh, sometimes I like a change of pace. Yeah. The, I think the closest I personally care to get to Grimdark would be Batman, and that doesn't count. So, I've, I've Batman got and the Shadow are both really enjoyable. <laughs> Has anyone here read Black Company? No, I, I have not, heard but I've heard many things about it. It gets it has a very high regard, but I didn't enjoy the first book because it it was kind of like the I recall it being the too pessimistic, too beaten down kind of grimdark. But honestly, I I read that first book at this point like six years ago, I think. I, I'm starting to barely remember it. But it was a different kind of grimdark than what I would classify, say, Berserk. Because I think any sane person would say that, yes, Berserk is grimdark. Yeah, I've been uh, reading through uh, some of the first uh, Song of Ice and Fire book, uh, which is a bit of a weird time to be reading it now that all the uh, hype has kind of died down, opinions and lines are solidly drawn. It is interesting to try and compare that version of sort of like grimdark or dark fantasy to something like Berserk, because they're, they're like two entirely different takes on a darker flavor of fantasy. Uh, one feels like it's more it's resonating more on a thematic level i i would still say at at its core berserk is sort of a story about defiance and a weird sort of hope i don't necessarily get that from a song of ice and fire maybe i'm missing something vital but i'm just not getting it and every piece of hope right. a song of ice and fire gets killed <laughs> at least you got the title right